I'm Chris with Motion Worship, here to show you how to create custom title slides in ProPresenter 7 for your church services. Whenever we upload a motion background collection to our website, we always include title slides that display messages such as welcome or offering, and users often want the ability to be able to customize those. While you can't change the text itself in those files, you can download the textless motion backgrounds and use your presentation software to copy the design and styling of those title slides. I wanna mention that I'll be doing this in ProPresenter 7, but if you're using a different presentation software, the same techniques are gonna translate. All right, we're gonna start building out our custom title slides now. So go to Motion Worship, log in if you have an account, and we're gonna navigate over to Collections and Packs and go to Dust Storm. And we're gonna download both the welcome and also the matching textless version of that background, which would be this one right here. So go ahead and download both of those and we're gonna use the welcome as a reference for text design. I think it's a good idea to download your motion backgrounds to separate folders based on the collection they're part of, but you can organize your media however you'd like. I would like to mention we include the name of the fonts used in each collection right here, and you can always go search those online and download them. This one does happen to be a free font, so go ahead and download that for this project. Okay, so we're back in ProPresenter. We're going to go to this plus sign by the media bin here and press Add Playlist, and we're going to title it Dust Storm. Then we're going to go to this plus sign down here, go from Finder, and then select the folder with all of your Dust Storm motion backgrounds in them, and press Import. Now go to this plus sign over here to create a new presentation, and we are going to title this Dust Storm Welcome. Say new, and we're going to drag in both the welcome slide as well as the matching textless version of it here. And then you want to make sure you have a blank slide. It should be there if you don't overwrite it, but if this doesn't happen to be here, you can always go hit this plus sign here and say add new slide. Okay, we're going to build out our title slide now. So go to this edit button, select your blank slide, and double click on the text in here, and we're going to change it to welcome in all lowercase. Then select it all and change the font to objective. And just to save you some time, in this title slide, we use objective thin italic. So the first thing you want to do is pick one letter, like the W, and try to just match it to the same size as the W on the original title slide. Don't worry about the width of the word yet. We're just looking at one character to make sure that we get the font size right. So select this here, and we're going to go scale up the font size. I'm guessing it's something around here. We're going to drag it up a little bit and then go back to show, select the title slide, and then if we click this text, we'll see it overlay. Okay, so this one is clearly too big. So I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna continue to tweak this until I have the W as the right size. Okay, so we got this really closely matched to our original design and it's in the right place. If I go back to show here and click on our motion background and then select the welcome text, you'll notice that it overlays almost perfectly. Uh, it's at 234 pixels right now for text size. Okay, so I did the same thing with this text down here. I forgot to mention to add text, it's just this plus button in the upper left-hand corner. But I went through and just messed with this until it matched the original design. I found out it's objective, bold italic, 45 pixels, and the character spacing is eight. And so if we go back to show, and I'll click on this original title slide, click on the one we just made, it overlays almost perfectly with it. So if we select this blank motion background and click on that, that looks pretty good. So the one thing that's missing from this obviously is this line in the center. So we're just gonna go back to edit. We're gonna select the blank slide, click the plus button and go to shape and rectangle. And you're just gonna drag these points and mess with the positioning and the scaling until you get it to match the original design. Okay, I got this to be roughly the right size. It's just a little bit too thick compared to the original. So at this point, it's hard to use my mouse to actually shrink this anymore. So you can go to this shape tab when you have it selected and reduce the height here and this will thin the line out. So right about there looks correct. So if we go back to show and we click on our title slide and then click on the text, that's pretty close. You might want to reduce the width a little bit, but this is looking really close. So we'll select this motion background and that. And that looks great. Okay, so the last thing we can do to really sell the design is we can modify the text color to just slightly match the motion background like in the original slide here. So this text is slightly pink or orange up here and slightly purple down here. So I'm just gonna select our new title slide, go to edit, 
and select this welcome text and go to the color picker here. And we're just going to drag this barely into the pinks. And then this text down here, same thing, just barely into the purples. Then we're going to go back to show, select our motion background and the new text. And it's such a subtle difference, but I do really think that it sells the design to just modify the color of the text a little bit. Okay, now that you have that built out, you can just go ahead and change the top and bottom text to whatever you'd like, and it'll match the design of the original title slides in the motion background collection. And that's gonna be it for this video. That's how to create custom title slides in ProPresenter 7. 